We're learning much more about the chaos on board the doomed Tropical Breeze Casino shuttle boat. For the first time, we are hearing from the captain's wife and from a relative of a crew member who describes a panicked retreat from exploding fuel. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live at the dock in Port Ritchie for us tonight. Peter. Good evening there, Jen. The Tropical Breeze Casino Boat is at the dock. It is tied up right now, not welcoming gamblers to its slots and tables. Tonight, many are calling the captain of this boat's shuttle a hero. The charred wreckage of the island lady sits just offshore, where the captain ran it aground Sunday afternoon. The dramatic scene caught on several cameras shows the 50 passengers and crew scrambling to safety in the shallow water. We visited the home of Captain Mike Batten. He lives 12 minutes from the dock. He's being hailed a hero by a lot of people. I know, I know. He, and he's not ready to talk right now. Captain Mike's wife, Amy Foley, tells me the incident that claimed the life of Carrie Dempsey of Lutz is very hard on him. I know that everybody sees him as a hero, but he doesn't feel like that right now. So she ran down to get a fire extinguisher, but the flames were too much for her. Eddie Lohr's 19 year old step granddaughter works in the casino snack bar. She was on the island lady to report for duty. He tells me Captain Mike told her to try to put out the fire. Her thought was the heck with this okay. and jumped right overboard. She said the flames just came right out on her. What happened to I her? mean, it was bad. Lore says the fire singed her skin and clothes. He questions the captain's decision. A captain's boat's on fire. He don't send a crew member to get a his fire extinguisher to me. But a family member who runs this casino operation tells us Captain Mike saved lives. He done everything in his power to make sure everybody made it off that vessel safely. A Tropical Breeze Casino spokesperson tells me Captain Mike Batten climbed into the engine compartment, didn't see any fire at first, but he sensed trouble. She says he turned the ship around, ordered everyone to the top deck, and then ran the ship aground. Jen? Peter Bernard, live in Port Ritchie for us tonight. Thank you, Peter. And tonight, more survivors are coming forward, sharing dramatic stories of escape. Rebecca Cargyle and her friends were on the boat. They saw the smoke and were forced to jump. Cargyle saw one of her friends who didn't know how to swim, struggling, so she went back to save her. Survivors described how difficult it was to get through the mud and make it to shore. I really had this hollow, numb feeling, but I knew I had to jump. So I jumped in the water. I know I landed on my back, on my head, my feet twisted. So far, at least one survivor tells us he plans to hire an attorney. We'll have continuing coverage of the casino boat fire as we learn new information. You can get updates on this story and more stories on News Channel 8's app and the WFLA.com website.